In this video, we're gonna be using Declaration Grooming Day Mint and the Rockwell 6S. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And we have a good one for you today, I think. But of course, we think we have a good one for you every day. So thanks for coming back and watching. Today, we're gonna to be using Declaration Grooming Day Man. And to me, this has a nice scent. Um, it's non-offensive to me, sort of has a, a lemon sort of vibe to it. Let's put the notes for you right there. Citrus, salt, patchouli. To me, it just comes off like a pleasant lemon sort of scent. With I think I get the salt too. Um, again, I don't think it's offensive in any way. It's not the greatest scent I've ever smelled, but I do like it. Just sort of clean, uh, fresh, and, and I really like that. The price on this, $22 for four ounces on our cost chart is five fifteen an ounce which is in the pricey uh, realm. And it's probably due to the ingredients, which we'll put right here. This is a uh, bison tallow soap, and it's got lots of uh, ingredients in it. I love their labels. I just like the way they do things in terms of the labels. It, it really looks good. And I think So Sharp David was the first to kind of point that out on a video, or at least the first one I, I saw to say, you know, I really like that bison. Um, I, I like it. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of nice. <laughs> uh, the, the razor for today is the Rockwell 6S and I'm using the five plate. Remember on the Rockwell, whatever's pointing down is the plate you use. And this razor comes with, um, three different plates, one shave setting on each plate. If you're new. So today I'm using the five with maximum being the six. We're just going to get a close, easy going shave today. The blade again is our vintage persona 74. And I think this is on shave six or seven, I can't remember. I have it written down, but uh, we look forward to having a great shave today. The brush for today is brand new. This is the Phoenix or PAA Phantom Aerolite, which I think is a good looking brush. I really like translucent uh, brushes and I think that's really nice. It feels good in the hand. It's got a really nice um, knot on it. It's 26 millimeters, but it feels bigger. So let's go ahead and wet the face today. 24 hours growth, which you can see a little of the salt there, I hope. And we will get to it. Remember, links for the products below if you are interested in any in of these. The Rockwell 6S, by the way, is a, it's usually around 100 bucks depending on the color. Colored versions are a little bit more, probably like $30 more. But look for coupons because they often have them on Rockwell. And there is our lather. And as you can see, there's some, I don't know if you can see that, but there's sort of some yellow specks in that. And that's just sort of the way the declaration soaps are for me when I bowl lather them. But... We still think we have a nice lather. I had to work a little bit uh, harder to get the consistency I want because I just don't use these soaps quite as much, but I think it's gonna be quite slick and quite nice and I don't anticipate any quality issues from uh, Declaration because they do make a fine soap. Again, it's a little in the pricey range due to those ingredients. Um, I actually bought this set off Murphy and McNeil used marketplace. It just had one scoop out of the soap, so I didn't pay the full price. Uh, and I thought I might like this because the, you know, lemon. Uh, and I do. I think it's a good scent. Um, again, I don't know if it's going to be a home run for everyone. It's about, a, I think, a year old or so now. It's just a nice, easygoing scent for me and something that is rather pleasant. Uh, not overly complex, but you know, I don't need overly complex scents all the time. And we have a good lather with this. Good hydration in there, as I expected. I did had to work a little bit more but to get the lather. But for me, whatever you're really familiar with is going to be easy. And the things you don't use as often will be, you know, you have to work a little bit at it. And uh, that is the case because I do use Declaration soaps, but not as often as some others. And uh, so let's get going with the Rockwell 6S. This one, of course, is blue, as you see, which I really like. I like the color blue. And our Persona 74 blade, vintage blade, no longer made, still feeling great. Normally with a DE or double edge uh, razor blade, I will go three shaves and out, and I don't go beyond three. But since this is a vintage blade, and it's known for yielding many, many shaves, I'm still using it. And again, we're on shave six or seven uh, I'm thinking it might be seven and still feeling nice and smooth. And that's one of the characteristics of this blade is it yields many, many shaves. The typical amount of shaves for most people with a double edge razor blade is usually between three 
and five is what most people go. Some people go less, some more, but that's a pretty good average. And for me, I go three and out, but with this blade, uh, we're seeing how many shaves we can get out of it. And when we feel it's rough, of course, we won't use it anymore. Don't use a rough blade or one that's not cutting well. There's no point in doing that to push a blade. So when it feels rough, we just won't use it. But I expect to get at least 10 shaves out of this blade, uh, maybe more. I've used these in the past. They're very expensive now. You used to be able to get them for, I don't know, um, 10, 15 bucks for five. And now it's like, you know, way, way beyond that. Three, four times that in some cases, if you find them on eBay, but they are a good blade. And that first pass was very nice, easy going. That's what I expected. The Rockwell 6S is a very versatile razor because those plates, you can just sort of tailor the shave as you like. If you want mild, you can go on the lower settings. If you want a little more efficient, you can go on the high settings. And even on the high settings, it's not menacing, at least for me. Um, just a, overall a, a good, easy going razor. It's got some good heft to it because it is stainless steel and it has kind of a large head on it. Um, wh where I think if Rockwell can ever figure out how to have that same plate system and cut down the size of that head, um, that would be nice, but it's probably hard to do since the size of that head is relative to the, or, or at least it's, it's there so you can get the diff different settings, one on each side. So you have three plates, settings one and two on a plate, settings three and four on a plate, settings uh, four and five on a plate, or excuse me, one and two, three and four, five and six. There are your plates. I'm sorry, I had to think about that for a minute. Sorry, I'm not, my brain's not firing on all cylinders just yet. Nice uh, lather with the declaration here. Again, it's, I don't use it quite as much, so I don't achieve the lather quite as easily and maybe I could get more hydration in this. I probably could, but that's just familiarity. The soap itself is very good. There's no question about it. It is a good quality soap. Um, it's definitely up there with, with all the, you know, best quality soaps has been for a long time. Really nice. And this one just has a really pleasant scent for me. I like it. I'm happy with it. I will keep it and use it from time to time. Um, it's kind of hard to describe the scent because it's not just lemon. I think you're getting, getting that salt as well. And I'm really liking this brush. It feels really good in the hand. The knot is uh, very, very soft. No troubles playing it. So I'm very happy with that. And that's, it's always good. The one thing for me in a knot, if a knot is too dense and doesn't splay well, or it doesn't release the lather well, I'm just not interested in it. Um, as knots get more and more dense, particularly the badger, uh, for me, it's always been more difficult for them to, to give up the lather. And I just don't have any, I just don't have any uh, desire to fight with the brush to get it to release the lather. It's just nothing I wanna do. So I want my brushes soft and I want what they call flow through, giving up that lather to be very, very good. And if it's not, I don't want it. <laughs> That's just me. The razor's here setting on five today. And, and again, it's just an easy going shaver, doing its thing. No problem whatsoever. Again, the blade feels stilling, still feeling very good. I want to mention to you, we, uh, the razor company, the razor company YouTube channel aired a video that I did, uh, yesterday and I will pop it up in one of the corners there for you. Uh, it's how to execute a three pass shave and what are the three passes and all that kind of stuff. If you're new, I suggest you, uh, Hit my playlist below. If you if you go to my channel and hit the playlist, you'll see a tips and how to or something like that's the name of the play uh, uh, playlist. I can't remember it exactly, but that video will be in there. And while you're at the Razor Company YouTube channel, give them a sub because there's uh, many people doing videos there, not just me. And you'll um, be able to maybe learn something from the variety of people out there. I always say, you know, make sure you're watching. Um, obviously we want you to watch this channel and we appreciate the 
the fact that you you have many, many choices and you're here watching. And I really, I'm mindful of that and I appreciate it. But I encourage you to watch, especially if you're looking to spend money on a product. Don't just stop one place. Go and look and see what other people have to say about it. Because, you know, there's a lot of subjectivity in this. In terms of, you know, preference. Um, like, when it comes to costs and things like that, I mean, that those are just, they are what they are. But in terms of what we like... It's highly sub subjective, so I always say go out there and uh, take in a lot of different um, information as it applies to something you're looking to uh, spend money on. And I think you know you you uh, you're just doing due diligence in doing so. But I am very appreciative for the fact that you're here. So thank you very much. And uh, as I said in my video yesterday. I try to, oh, well, I don't try. I do answer every single comment. Um, it might be a short response, but I will answer it. And if you have any questions that you prefer not to make public, shoot me an email. Um, put it for you right there, cdb at imcdb.com. It might, again, sometimes it takes me a day or two, but I will get back to you unless it gets caught up in spam and sometimes that happens, but I'm pretty responsive. Also, uh, you can send me a direct message on Instagram, and all that information will be in the links below the video. You might have to press, if you're on mobile, you might have to press an arrow or something to see that information, but below the links are my social media, Instagram, my Facebook IMCD page, not my personal page, but my IMCDB page. That's there for you all. I post my videos there. I post, you know, you can message me on that. Um, I try to keep my personal Facebook account, you know, limited to people that I know, you know, sort of in real life or have, have had a lot of interaction with. But you can shoot me a, a direct message on Instagram or the IMCDB Facebook page, which again are linked below. And again, I, I make the distinction that's different from my personal Facebook account. If you instant message me and you're not already a friend of mine on my personal Facebook account, I'll never see that message. It'll be another and I'll never see it. So that's why I make the other um, platforms available to you. Email, Instagram direct message, or my AMC2B Facebook page. Okay, let's see how we do on our third and final pass. This is a nice, this has been a nice easy going shape today. Just really pleasant in every way and enjoyable and honestly, I, that's why I love doing this. It's just, you can come in here and relax. And you know, me, I like to share my experience with you all. And then uh, I like to hear what you have to say. Um, your opinions on the products I'm using or maybe something you're looking to purchase. And uh, that's quite enjoyable. Um, I'm always happy when I learn that Someone new is commenting and they're like, hey, I'm brand new to traditional shaving. And if you're one of those people today, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to have you. And hopefully you will uh, enjoy learning to shave this way and enjoy, enjoy it as a hobby like many of us and form great relationships with people. You know, part of it is the act of shaving and using all these wonderful products. And part of it is the right relationships that you form with people as a result of that common bond, because so this is very much a niche or niche, depending on how you want to say that. Um, hobby, it's a relative small amount of people who do this worldwide, uh, relative to, you know, other styles of shaving, the more traditional, or excuse me, the contemporary ways of shaving with electric razors and, you know, gels and stuff like that. This is very much a, a very small, <laughs> A hobby and so if you're part of it you sort of stumbled upon the, the promised land and welcome we think you will enjoy it very much and I hope that over time if you're new you will just have that uh, you know 15 to 30 minutes of enjoyment every single day where you're just in your you're taking something that used to be very monotonous boring 
pain in the rear, some might say, and making it fun, enjoyable, and something you can share with other hobbyists, and you'll meet great people, you know, and so that, that's one of the reasons I really like it. I'm in regular contact with a lot of great people all over the world that I would have never met if not for this hobby, and I am thankful for that because those people, they add value to my life, and so thank you all, um, all the people who share this with me. I really appreciate it. And thanks uh, to those of you who are regular commenters below. Really appreciate the time you take to let me know you're here. And so if you've never commented before, today is the day. Drop that comment there. Let me know you're here. And I will certainly thank you. And I appreciate you. All right. What a nice, easy going shave today. Just, just fun. Um, relaxing. Nothing to complain about. All right. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum, um, no stinging whatsoever. So that was a really nice, super uh, shave. The, the Persona 74 blade and the Rockwell, uh, really excellent combination today. And that blade is still going strong. Um, after the alum, we rinsed off with a cool water rinse. Then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel. And then, oh, here it is. We used our magic made by witches. This is Thayer's uh, witch hazel cucumber and I've just put it in a spray bottle. Again, links for the products below and that's for your convenience. Today we use the Declaration Day Man. I like it. Um, some people don't. I do. Nice, pleasant, easygoing scent. Very good quality. Thumbs up from me. The Rockwell 6S. Big thumbs up. Um, really nice, versatile razor. Really nice, smooth shaver. I really enjoyed it. Thumbs up on that. Our uh, Phantom Aerolite brush. I really enjoyed that too. This is a winner. It's definitely a keeper. Of course, you saw our Captain's Choice bowl, and we shall finish things off today with Declaration Grooming Day Men Splash. And I do like that Declaration sends a little, uh, little container of menthol. Should you want to mentholate your splash, I think that's pretty cool. And let's get a little splash on here. We're going to be off to the races and having a great, great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great day as well. By the way, the splash here. There's a nice lemon kick to it, even more lemon than the soap, so it smells very good to me. So that is much to my liking. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.